So you can access the uh, ESA from the GUI or the CLI. In case of GUI, all you need to do is just mention uh, the IP address of uh, the ESA here. As in this case, in my case, I've kept the IP address of the ESA 10.106.36.235. In your case, it's going to be the default one, which would be 192.168. Dot 42.42 dot 42. as soon as you do this hit enter this is the kind of page you're going to land on right on this page you see this text here this is the banner now this banner is completely configurable and you can configure it from the cli i can show you how and the command would be uh, from uh, the admin access config and from there you have the option of banner as well uh, as well as other options as well so yeah, this is one of the options. So you can configure it here. On this page, you also get other information. For example, the model that of the ESA that you'd be you're working on, and uh, the software version uh, uh, running on that ESA. Uh, once uh, you're on this page, all you need to do is mention the username and password to enter in uh, the ESA, and uh, you will have uh, the default username and password um, as admin and uh, the password as our import so what you can do is you can mention admin here and then our import uh, so the the password is our import this is literally the password this is what i've typed here so as soon as you mention this information you should be able to log in but before all this how can you land on this page you need to make sure that your pc itself is on 192.168.42 subnet right in order to do that, in order to confirm that, you can go to the start menu and from there you can mention ncpa.cpl, hit enter, and you land on the network settings page, something like this, right? So once you're here, it should be um, easy for you to spot your network, uh, which you're using to access the ESA. So once they're on the same network, as in, in this case, it should be 192.168.42 network. And as soon as you do that, uh, you should be able to land on this page and then mention all the details as I as I did and therefore go ahead and log in. OK, so once you log in, this is the page you're going to land on. And in case this is a brand new device, you'll be automatically redirected to the system setup wizard where you'll get an option to choose an IP address for the interfaces. You'll get to choose if you want to use HTTP or HTTPS. And apart from that, a couple of the options as well. And yeah, you got to choose the correct options and proceed accordingly. And as I'm talking more about basics in this video, if you want to know about um, how to's, which is also something that if you're new to ESA, you should check it out. Um, I've made a video on this, um, these how to's that you see, uh, okay, here. Right. So these how to's, um, I've made a video on it and uh, the link for the same, uh, you'll be able to see it on the top right corner of this uh, video somewhere around this time. Anyways, moving on. Also, if you, if you have the ESA installed and uh, the email operations are going on, you can still make changes. And in case you make a change, you'll see this um, change its color to, I guess, orange. Yep. And uh, in that case, you can go ahead and make those changes. Not every other um, you know, change affects the email flow. Uh, per se, it depends on what change you're making, but you know, configuration changes uh, can be made while the emails are being processed. And also, not all changes require you to go ahead and you know uh, commit the changes. Uh, some some changes do not require any of that, and they get automatically saved and uh, activated as well. But but for some, you will have to commit the changes. We're going to talk about it um, in uh, in the later part of the video, possibly. Okay, now that we've checked how we can access your ESA uh, from the GUI, we can go ahead and test uh, or, or check it out um, how we can uh, do it using the SSH, how to uh, you know access the ESA from the SSH. So for the CLI, you can use um, any of the available um, options, any terminal emulation software like uh, PuTTY, like this one right here. Uh, otherwise, you can go for TerraTerm or MobX Term. You got multiple options now uh, i've already um, accessed this appliance but let's say you're doing it for the first time this is where you put in the ip address so you're going to say the ip address of your esa here um, now in case you're not accessing it 
from SSH. Now, as you can see, SSH is selected. Now you can access uh, the ESA uh, CLI from uh, from the serial connection as well. So you can use the COM connection. Um, well, you can get, get this information from the device manager in your Windows operating system. You gotta go to start and go to device manager and from there understand which COM uh, is available, but usually it goes for the correct one in case it doesn't, that's the way you gotta do it. Anyways, uh, once you have that, uh, I'm accessing it from the IP address. So this is the IP address. Okay, I hit open and uh, it opens up uh, the terminal window. It's it's asking me, how do you want to log in? Log in as. Um, so let me say admin. I want to log in as admin. And then it's asking me for the password. I'm going to say my password. Okay, I've logged in. Another quick thing with PuTTY is that, you know, whenever you're dealing with PuTTY and uh, let's say the text size is not that big, go to change settings right here. And once you click on that, you'll see the options, uh, the option for appearance right here, right? When you click on that, on the right side, you see this change, the font, right? Select 14 or any of the other numbers um, that, you know, you might feel is comfortable enough for your eyes. So you click on that, you see the size increase and you see the banner right here, the network Viking, the son of boss, and you see all the other information right here. So, um, yeah, this is how you access the uh, CLI in case you want to change the, um, you know, of the IP address, you can go to interface config and from here you can say edit and then edit the uh, IP address and that's how you do it. Well, I guess this should be it for this video. Mm, yeah, pretty much. Thank you so much. And uh, again, if you have not subscribed, please go ahead and do it and drop a like and if you have any questions uh please drop it in the comments section thank you so much have a great time ahead goodbye